Catholic Christians around the world tonight are celebrating the Mass of the Last Supper and the gift of the Eucharist. In our first reading tonight that Diane wrote, you heard a very detailed explanation of what had to go on to celebrate Passover and the meal included with it. The reason that's so important tonight is I want to make sure we all understand that that is the meal Jesus was celebrating when he gave us the gift of the Eucharist. We are closely tied with our Jewish brothers and sisters in faith because the foundation of Christ's faith is the Jewish faith. In our second reading tonight, you heard the earliest documentation of the words Christ used at the Last Supper. Scripture scholars figure it was written right around the year 55, some 20 plus years after Jesus' death. And it was written before any of the Gospels, and that's why they know it's the oldest. But as Anne read it, you saw the emotion in her. Those words are very short, but yet meaningful and beautiful. On that night, Jesus took bread, broke it and blessed it and said, take this, eat it. This is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. After the meal, he took the glass of wine, blessed it again, gave it to the disciples, and said, drink this. This is the blood of the new covenant, which I am giving to you. Do this in remembrance of me. It's important to remember tonight that this is no simple sign. This is not something that is artificial. This is real, living bread and wine becoming the body and blood of Christ. It is the living sacrifice, the body, the blood, the soul, the divinity of our God who gave himself up for us. That is what we are celebrating tonight. That is what we are remembering. Our gospel tonight came from John. And many of you may know this already, but John's gospel does not have anything about the gift of the Eucharist. John, which is the last gospel written, goes right to what Eucharist should make us the presence of Christ's love and mercy in the world. That is what we imitated and lived out today, the words of the gospel, washing of feet. It is a symbol of charity, of service, because God did not come into this world. He, Christ didn't come into this world to be served, but to serve. And that is what he calls each and every one of us who wants to be his disciples to do to serve others, particularly those in need. So as we go on with our celebration tonight, listen to the words of consecration. Take hold of the Eucharist in your hands when you receive it and realize it is the living sacrifice of Christ Jesus who gave himself up for each and every one of us. He died for our sins. He died so that we may have the gift of everlasting life. And so how can we show that we accept this gift and will remember what he did for us? Follow his teachings and serve others. That is how we can show, yes, Lord, I am remembering what you did for me.